Hello, Gene Schwimmer here. Welcome to today's vlog, which is going to be the same deal as yesterday's vlog. Yesterday, I had to interrupt my regularly scheduled programming, the topic I was going to talk about, to suddenly change because of some late breaking development to talk about something else. Same thing happened today. Yesterday, I had to switch topics because Nancy Pelosi announced that she was going to, or that the House was going to introduce and vote on a resolution to open up the Trump impeachment inquiry process. I was hoping that it would be a vote to have an official inquiry. It's not going to be that. It's going to be rules and procedures for holding an open hearing. Now, Today, we have the actual text. It was just the release. We have the actual text of the House resolution. So, obviously, that's what I want to talk about because yesterday I said they were going to introduce the resolution. I had certain hopes and fears about what the resolution would contain and what the results would be. Today, we have the actual language. Now, the obvious question is, is this resolution actually going to create an open and fair process? The answer is, as you'll see when I start reading specific language, the answer is we don't know. This could, in fact, lead to an open and fair process, but it could also be an attempt to just give the impression of an open and fair process without actually creating one. And then once again, remember that this is not an official vote or this is not going to be a vote for an official impeachment inquiry. It's merely a description of a process to be followed in. Well, it's going to be the Intelligence Committee that is holding, well, not holding hearings, but that is interviewing witnesses in secret. That's the Intelligence Committee, Adam Schiff, chairman, doing that right now. But under this new process, hearings will be held openly by Schiff's Intelligence Committee, but also by Gerald Nadler, chairman of the Judiciary Committee. So we're going to have two committees looking at this. It's supposed to be an open hearing. It looks like it will be an open hearing. The question is fairness. Now, we know from this resolution that there will be equal question time for Democrats and Republicans. In other words, when a witness appears, both Democrats and Republicans on these committees will be able to ask questions of the witnesses and they will have equal time. So that part is in fairness, it's fair. But the problem that I see, or the potential problem, is when you get a little farther along in the document. And by the way, I put a link to the resolution in the description so that you all can read it for yourself. You can see the entire document. I'm not going through the entire document. I'm just going to, because it's really, as I just said, process and procedure. I'm just going to the part that is giving me pause. It's the part that prevents me right now from saying whether the process or whether I think the process will or will not be fair. So this is in section two, open and transparent investigative proceedings by the permanent select committee on intelligence. Now, as I said, there's a judiciary committee also looking at this. The language is identical in this resolution for both committees. So I'm just going to read the one for the Intelligence Committee, but the language is identical in the section that deals with the Judiciary Committee. Now, if you watched yesterday's vlog, then you know that my main concern or one of my big concerns was whether in this new House process, Republicans would have the right to call their own witnesses, to subpoena their own witnesses, their own document. This section, section two, deals with that. I'm going to read you the relevant language and then I'm going to give you a couple of comments. So here is the language, just follow along. 
The ranking minority member of the Permanent Select Committee is authorized with the concurrence of the chair to require as deemed necessary to the investigation by subpoena or otherwise the attendance and testimony of any person including at a taking of a deposition and the production of books, records, correspondence, memoranda, papers, and documents and by interrogatory the furnishing of information. In the case that the chair declines to concur in a proposed action of the ranking minority member pursuant to subparagraph A, the paragraph that I, I read a few seconds ago, the ranking minority member shall have the right to refer to the committee for decision the question whether such authority shall be so exercised and the chair shall convene the committee promptly to render that decision subject to the notice procedures for a committee meeting under clause yada yada yada. Okay, so maybe you already caught the loophole or the pitfall that I see. It's, well, let me put up a couple of these paragraphs that I just showed you with certain parts highlighted. Beginning with this one, the ranking minority member of the Permanent Select Committee is authorized with the concurrence of the chair to require as deemed necessary to the investigation so on and so forth. So you can see that on the face of it, the Republicans will be allowed to subpoena their own witnesses, but it's with the concurrence of the chair. In the Intelligence Committee, that means the concurrence of Adam Schiff. In the Judiciary Committee, that means the concurrence of Jerry Nadler. So you see, the way I read this, the Republicans will need effectively the permission of Adam Schiff or Jerry Nadler to call witnesses, to subpoena witnesses. If they say no, then the Republicans can't do it. They can't subpoena any witnesses. Now, as you read further along, the Republicans can challenge a decision by Schiff or Nadler not to allow the subpoenaing of certain witnesses, but read how the process goes again with certain language, as I said, highlighted. In the case that the chair declines to concur in a proposed action of the ranking minority member pursuant to subparagraph A, the ranking minority member shall have the right to refer to the committee for decision the question whether such authority shall be so exercised. What does that mean? The way I read this, it means that if the Republicans want to challenge a decision by Schiff or Nadler not to allow the subpoenaing of a particular witness or particular document, the only recourse that the Republicans have is to refer a challenge to the committee. What does that mean? That means the committee votes. What does that mean? In practice, it means that the decision whether to overrule Schiff and Nadler will be made by vote of a committee composed mostly of Democrats. Democrats are the majority on these two committees. So I have to ask, in the event of a challenge, what are the odds that the Republicans would prevail? So now when I say, will the process be fair or not? Do I think the process will be fair or not? We don't know. We don't know because it depends on what the two chairmen, Schiff and Nadler, do. If they allow every witness to be subpoenaed, whom the Republicans want to subpoena, if they allow every document the Republicans want to subpoena to be subpoenaed, then yes, the process will be fair. But if they exercise this power under their resolution to deny Republicans the ability to subpoena particular witnesses or documents, then it's going to depend on, number one, how often is this power exercised, and Number two, what are the documents, who are the witnesses that the Republicans are being denied the ability to subpoena? And if either chairman does so deny and the Republicans 
challenge and it goes to the committee, then it depends on the vote. If the result is just a series of party line votes to uphold the chairman, we have to question how fair the process is. It will depend on the circumstances in which these events happen if they do. We can only wait and see. That's the answer for now. And I can only wait and see to see all of you again. And I hope I do and bring plenty of people with you. In the meantime, thumbs up if you like this video. Share it with anybody else you think would like the video. Got any comments? You're welcome to put them in the comment section below the video. You can subscribe to the video. That would be fantastic. And most fantastic of all is to come see me again. I'll be right here waiting for you. And until I do see you again, bye.